Again, for those of y'all that are just tuning in, we have a mock-up of SN6. We're calling it SNX. And uh, what we're going to be doing today is filling it and detanking it with a uh, really cool liquid so we can watch the temperatures change. We can, so we can get an idea of what we might see out here in uh, Boca Chica later on once we get a cam out there. Uh, so what we're going to be doing is um, filling up SNX here. It's a uh, little mock-up model I made real quick. Uh, basically, what it consists of is a tall glass, tall plastic glass that's coated in aluminum foil with a aluminum foil top. We also have a little vent hole right here. Uh, we have aquarium tubing that comes down that's also covered in aluminum foil. And this actually not a, a aquarium tubing, it is an IV tube. And we'll be connecting an IV bag that's filled with really cold liquid. It's a mixture of alcohol and water and we will lift it up and let gravity take its toll and fill up SNX and watch how the colors change. And uh, after it fills up, we'll bring the bag down low towards the floor and reverse the process and watch the colors change again to see how the uh, heat picks back up. All right, so just to uh, kind of do a full mock-up, I kept it kind of warm in here. It's actually, huh, yeah, it's really warm in here, my goodness. It's 91 degrees in here. I do have a fan blowing, but I'm trying to keep it like Boca Chica is. And then we have this. This is our IV bag with our super cool liquid, which is really not that super cooled. I had it out for a little bit. It's uh, 29 degrees. 29 degrees and it's been sitting out for a while. It was down to 17 degrees earlier. But uh, you'll see this here. You can see how my hand is reddish white red. Once I touch it, get my hand really cool down. Boom. You can also see how it puts a handprint. <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead and get the quick disconnect logged up. All right, guys, here we go. So we should see it turn blue and then white blue. All right, here we go. Let's see, we'll watch the uh, line, too. You should be able to see this line change colors as well. I'll keep this kind of in the way, too, so you can see.
I got ice crusting off of the uh, the bag. I can actually see frost. Oh wow! Just like I wish I, I should have set up a uh, a regular camera too. But there definitely is frost. Frost line is about right here. That's about, yeah. I guess that's about where that's at. That's all the fluid. Oh wow! The uh, the tube got kind of rigid too. It was really flaccid before. And now it's rigid. Did I just say flaccid? Okay, so uh, now that we got the tank semi full, we're going to go ahead and start the detanking process. You can see here what's left over of the bag. Okay, now we are back to detanking. All right, let's see what's going on here. Are we filling up? Yep, we are filling the tank farm. It's filling back up. As you can see, it's totally white again. We'll see how long it takes it to uh, change colors back to normal ambient temperature. All right, so since we're pretty much back to ambient colors here, there's a slight bit of coolness to it. I'm going to go ahead and move it to the side, take it off the stand. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and leave the camera on for now, but it probably will not stay on all day all for the rest of the evening i may come back in and toy with it some more maybe with some canned air we'll see um but i will leave it on for now see if we get a few more viewers come in and check things out i know it's kind of boring inside the mobile unit here checking out a bunch of weird colors once again thank y'all everybody for the shouts out all the uh super chats you guys rock stumpy top dog We'll check in later, Nerdle. Peace out.